dive. Quick look. Všechno máme hotový, tak jdeme pokrač. Finished outfit in her little workshop by here, with a little help from Sid, of course. Of course, our new leader's no better at resisting her weedling than the old one was. Hugo Kupka. I missed you. How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wayne. Oh. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outland. Tales of your heroics in Rosalith, which is why I came to learn the full truth of the matter, sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000! <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more, 
I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Mm -hmm. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from Barnabas, one or... to the next. And in the Ein Heia, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, <clears throat> it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. Would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. Mm. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. No, yes, no. Through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To which it the was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the boat. <laughs> now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. Hmm. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where are we going? going? Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Vivian, Vivian. Another of my lectures. We met under naturally. Still, Lord, by I heard. Why? What is it that you wish to learn?
Of course. I have the details here. Portuena. Zmanipulovala kokota. Ale dal má kácky, kdyby jsou šenu. A... Takže to už je. My jsme šli do Drakefangu. Dalmakianská republika tady bojuje o Twinsight. Kristaline Dům. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. Hmm. Takže teďka pan místo Mother Crystal zabít Kupku, jo? Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalemil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid. Might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Thank fuck for it. Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Takhle jedeme stří do Byrone. All right, uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall.
Delmáky vám držet. Parada. I was a young man when last I walked this path. Hmm, tak si dáš ještě jednu stáří, vole. Turgu. Trading posts not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Tak. Riddle of the Sand. Ty jsi to pouštěl jako velká, ne? Our destination lies over that dune. Já chci to tornáda, vůli co mi to udělá. Malcolm Well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sand. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived. You whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. It's
so. Lord Cook has finally made his move. She is the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. A quick drink before we press on? Gdzie jest Orgala? Black Shokował. Those are Ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Mhm. Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Back assassin, too. Na zgólu, ale. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Tady Joshua. On je fakt nemocný. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water.
keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey! Yeah. You. Uncle. Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs.
you are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. <laughs> to je debil. Hmm. 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 Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Mortal Blow. A máte to zmrdí. Ale tohle to mi teda se nelíbí. Musím to jako zatáhnout. Abych aspoň něco viděl. To Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm hurt. I can't even move. I'm just so. Hmm. Co se děje? Phoenix je tady.
Joshua. What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Targo. to find cup for we do make the drinks fang the role is set of themselves they type back in the people we should press on before any more was that when they started to check in a cup of the day ah they've closed the road and it's the only way from here to the fang to sit down let's check out lord cup is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got. Good day, my lord. Here you are. An excellent choice. Pleasure trading with you. Thank you kindly. Go with Gilbert. Light it for Gilbert's sake. Bear aunt. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your... Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil? Would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all this. Runs all the 
fucking men of the wrong. Won't you come and play, handsome? Your arms are like iron. Ah. Oh. 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 Delano is famous for its spas. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Yeah, is only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this fur knows. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction.
materiálech. Takže... Debil. Hledejme. Ach bože. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he... So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Zkoušíte vůbec nementi, vole. Who are you working for? Him or her? Him. The boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Or further? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. Ah, Fedro is a sex prdelity crab of all. Ach, bože. the young sprig after all so much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience how wrong I was it was an easy mistake to make uncle after all it must have been years since Sid last saw her sorry him whoever this Lubor truly is he's clearly a man of means I'd say he deserves our respect see that he gets it Rozdíná na chlápe, on vozec. Lubo, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. Lubo, jo. Kdo tady dluží na Dali Mil? Asi ne, ne. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second. 
Jo, tak je to ruže, ruže na dalém, I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Obchod. Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you no, have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I too have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why you? So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. This is the debil. Aladdin and what travel you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. <laughs> Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. <laughs> it will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Have a moment. Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rocks. <laughs> Well, 
Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. You wouldn't believe how much he gave. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. My carpets have brighter places. The misfortune Dalamil finds herself in is a... Why is the tavern shut? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Treat you. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with. Should you give me reason to do so? All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men. Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you are and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Poppinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the... Croy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. Of course.
cause all that crashing and banging about before? Hello, Ambrosio. I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, 
We are duty bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. <laughs> <laughs> Over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. That wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage, to tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Is I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No. 
Thank you very much, Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, damn it. Oh, we are lost, Elan. To is a little. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Aladdin picture. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Rick. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Two people. I'm a little bit showing you. Trust me, to take a simple test and turn it. Riddle. I better get to it. Yeah, take a step, sir. Welcome, you, sir. Give me some. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Everything I wear. All those. The bastard. I'm. What's the pair, though? Open the gate. Lubor was true to his word. What is it? Sorry, Aren't I have oh. Has to be up in. Thank you. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. 
Nem sei a Aladdin, não. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Yeah! Come on, girl again. Enemy slain. Which was the trichotto? Wow. Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the bun. No, fuck. So, put your middle hideaway and I'm coolly. Are the minion? This is no good. I was hoping. You look only all too so bad. No, I right. Trouble me is a mud. Is it true what I mean? My carpets have dry. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. <laughs> Made from the stoutest yes, Won't you? I mean, the baths grow more bearable by the moment. I'm glad to hear it. No. Not what I Ratchet the meat. The juiciest meat. Oh, yes, they're quite the sweet. finest fabrics. Come on. Fly Ambrosia.
you crush it up or just throw it in the bucket. Je vais dire ça, Je vais être sacré de mettre ça pour les jeunes boys, je vais être match sacré. Že tam jsou nový lovy, vole. Bylo 355, proč tam nic nemám, vole. Bylo 395. details here. Here's the latest information I have. How may I help you today, Clive? All in good time, eh? Hasn't been delivered yet, I'm afraid. Come again. I may have more for you. I have to die on you.
Come on. Faster. No need to ride from here. Straight home now. Well, Clive, it looks like you're gonna need an even bigger sword.
It should have stayed in its shell. Scratches, all right. Anything else? Is it business or pleasure? Going purse weighing you down. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. This is no good. I was hoping to get out. What I'm hearing? My carpet. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Plates and pots. Bowls. Sweet insects. What crack We should get going soon. Come on, girl, the gate's open. There it is, Drake's Fang. Goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me.
duck. <laughs> to apologize. That's a lot. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. Well, I that. retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Přidal se svrátil se svůle. Což hrdina. Not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. <laughs> I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is the best ways. In the same way, you should be so that you can fight with some considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then, go safely, uncle. And you. Nephew, we have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torval. Měl to krystalu schovaný. Break Sank. Má zase ruce, je on se učí. I'll kill you 
your skill. I'll rip out your heart. I'll tear you limb from limb. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. <sighs> Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just... tell me. The heart. What of it? A Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But for a dominant. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you? you... <sighs> Clive when Rossfield you... stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. When you say we should be vinout. On se evolvne na mocnějšího ikona, vole, tak toho ši. To se stane i Ifritovi na konci hry třeba. Jak to víš? Co je kurva? Kdo je kurva tohle? Proč cítí a vyvolává nějaký mrtky tamhle vole? Kde to kurva je? Vím, že slouží pod barnabášem, ale do piči. Co je záč? Čiša pes. Co to kurva je? Orkové. 
Did the royalists bring them from ash? Into the darkness. Are the beastmen part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? They spotted us. We've been too much. So much for the men of the rock. Dalmechia's finest. Tohle, tohle je ta trofej, to pak uděláme. Uh, 
This must be the way out. Ty, čo to tu je zase? Máš to. Praso ork, ty vole. As if taking the mother crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build this castle in it. <laughs> Let the trial begin. What the hell? With me, Undertaker.
Not that. Seems were expected. Jsme a my hočku. So this is the power of, of Mythos. Mythos. Zvolila nějaký pičový nebo kokotová. Bravery, some Co jsi dělal, Ultima? Jo, není to Ah! 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 
že by konečně došel čas na kupku. He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Toggle. Madre Cristal. Again. What's wrong with him?
Kde je kurva tohle? On ho pouští, ne? To tam přeci nebyl zašel, to byl fakt někdo, vole. Co se to kurva děje? Pitá. Ah, to piči. Je přece se nějaké malé jeho protože to dávají. Boy, Titanku. Nasral jsem ho. Čekal jsem o to na výsty tanku.
Pichu. Brimstone Clive has learned from the vault and really. That's right. Yeah. Kristal. Dělá prdel. Co se to děje? Chudák, nejcelo. Hustej sond! To si se posral! Co to je? Co to kurva je? Ty pičo, to mi pomoc teda. Ordaj! Tuh! 
tu rošku jako hodně Devil May Cry. Krávo. Posral se, jestli vole. Ježiši Mario. To ti jebe. Krávo. Už běž do prdele, demente. Ty tam lostil. To nic neudělalo, vole. Pičo, použij, vole. Něco, vole. Hellfire, vole, nebo něco, kurva. A nebo tohle. 61 tisíce obrlo mu tak byhle maličkej ten, kolik má 10 milionů debil, ty vole. To víc, vole. 300 míčů. Stejný song. Pičo, to je bombový, vole.
pincho. Co ti je? Možná jo. Máš to kundo. Páč! Ta pauta, ahoj to pojeli. Máš to. Usekám ti ty ruce znova. Ty triple jeden. Hellfire! Yes! Yes, oh! No kam mě vezeš do vesmíru, píčo? No tak co ti je? Tak hoši. Vole, vidím hovno. Tak 
Jackpot! Du! Pičou, tři miliony. Fůr, tady seš. Krau, to je přejeně epický, ty krávo!
jako musím říct, že tenhle fight je nejepičtější Aikon fight, který jsem zatím kdy viděl, ty vole. Letání mi teda vůbec nevyhovuje. Mrdáti! Vedle! Znova vedle! Vedle! Made a I can do it too, man, as can. No. Fight, 
kurva egy demente! Wow! Batlán! Ti krávo! Tak Titan byl zatím nejlepší battle, battle ze všech ikon, co jsem kdy viděl do píči, ty vole. <laughs> Kurevsky boží. O zavrci frítku. Mother Crystal, znič ho. Znič Mother Crystal, Clive. Meč. No říkaj, že seš naučil používat meč, ochu. Další krystal, no tak ještě chybějí dva. <laughs> Jsme blíž a blíž ke svobodě. Co se děje? Krev a je je. Něco je špatně, vole. Kdo je kurva tohle? To je ten Ifri, co pouští tu sílu nám? Kdo to kurva je? Co to je? Ten kokot je ultima, ten vod Barnabáše, tím tu podobu. Proto ho, Hyuga. Nevyhnutelný. Neakceptuji Čím víc krystalů klavě zničíš, tím on se k tobě dostává. Kurva. Díky bohu za Joshua, to je volá, bychom byli v piči. Tady je Ultima. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood. Then one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. To nové Ultima kasidera. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. Barnabas. But Mythos is stronger. 
For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Sabak Odinko. The man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. Co se to zase děje? Jo, Mother Crystal je zničený. From stone to sand. Some medicine, my lord. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. Almighty Bahamut. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Buzna, ty vole, fuj! Do píči, vole, oni to srovit do her, fakt, že uá, teplo už, vole, spíčenej, vole. Fuj. No, Terence je jaký pěkný bukvičák, hnusnej, vole. No, huli ptáci skurvený, vole, fuj. Musím říct, že bych ho měl chtít, aby nebyl v těle buzny ty vole. To je hrozné. Kokot. Naši vojáci by se měli vzpůsobit, and so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? <laughs> Olivier has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? 
Quickly! Uh, yes, Your Highness. His Radiance requests that Your Highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. <laughs> so, so, uh... Well, go to go. Out of the shadow. You better give Otto the good news. Seeing troops amassing every point. Suja Soulstinger Grimauke The Joe, the nine or nine. Breaker of the world. To jump up, she can't do it. Clive, you're back. I am. I'm always glad tidings for once. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. Uh, I drink. You look better. I feel it. 
Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Any messenger? Any word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? If you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Ah, the conquering hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. No, I'm not sure. May have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men.
Так. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your lord uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the royalist's movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them. ...that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us... ...sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Ah, my favorite pupil. So what if it... Which leave... <sighs> How may I help you today? One must understand one's place in the world. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive.
Well, someone looks pleased with himself. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Well, don't just stand there gawping. It's a real thank you. Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. Kind of buy you. You got out else? Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Blackthorn. What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. Thank me later. Do my best work. Will do. Anything else? Mezi hrozné, ale najdem pak lepší.